Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick little update here. This is something I haven't done yet because they haven't all been here, but today we're finally doing the video. We're waiting on one more car, but uh, I'm, I don't know when that's coming in. So we're just going to go through. We're taking a look at the best sprint cars of 2021. Just kidding, it's not really that. But basically we're looking at all the dirt cars uh, that have come in in the last year. And um, I have, I think, a good chunk of them available on the website still. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. But we'll start off with the one that's an oddball. And that is the Chase Elliott late model, the A-Shock late model. Uh, this ran at Bristol on the the dirt um and it's just like his a shock paint scheme so it's got the gloss black it's got the red you can see the a shock the chrome rims just a really cool design uh you know big front <laughs> front splitter almost um and then underneath you can see all the detail to the underneath side of the late model this little engine cover pops off so you got the engine there so very cool that the motor's sitting in there and then um obviously i think that i don't know does that fuel flap still pop open no it doesn't so on some of the older ones this little flap here would pop open but not on this one so but yeah that's the only late model i've gotten in this year i have a bunch of casey kane ones and this is the only chase elliott one that's been made so i decided to pick that one up there is also a kyle larson one out there i haven't picked anything up for him yet um it's also really expensive so you know best of luck all right now we're going to get into the sprint cars. We're going to start with my favorite, uh, just because he's my favorite. And that's the number nine of Casey Kane and the Caravan Trailers, uh, number nine. So the good thing, thing is uh, he is also getting this year's sprint car made, which is the Fuel Me. Um, it's got Fuel Me as a sponsorship with Caravan Trailers. So you can see down the side we've got Caravan Curb. But uh, overall, just, uh, I don't know. It's not a super crazy scheme, but, you know, I'm a big uh, big Casey Kane fan. So I'm certainly going to pick up anything uh, of Casey Kane's that gets made. So pretty cool. Obviously, it's a very, uh, what's the word? A very um, direct match to our next contestant, which is James McFadden. Same exact car. Um, I gotta look and see if there's any major changes in the car itself. I don't think there was. I'm pretty sure they ran the exact same car and just had literally the different name on the wing. So yeah, literally the same side here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't see any differences. Looks like it is the exact same car, minus the, the name on the wing. So, still a really good looking car. James now running with the 83 for Roth. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're offering that one this year. So, it would be nice. It would be cool to get James' car from this year, but unfortunately, it's not being offered. So, uh, we'll finish off with our last of the Casey Kane racing cars. This is the 49 of Brad Sweet, your 2021 champion. Uh, this was the first season he ran with that blue number on kind of the white background. This year's car has a little more yellow up top and a little more blue. I actually prefer this car to let to this car to this year's car. So 2022 has more yellow and just I don't know, it doesn't look as good. I like the 2020 version better. Um Yep, looks like it's the same build over here. Uh, in terms of right here, they've got that uh, kind of like driver door almost looking. It's not a door, but it's it's not on every car that they have this part in there. So that's kind of a different thing. Um, I think the, the the engine covers can be different. So that's another thing that can change uh, on different ones. There's also little different options down here that they can run as far as running like uh, different like paint scheme elements of it. Uh, the KC Kane racing cars don't have any of those under there. So. Uh, I think all the Casey Kane racing cars are the same, from what I can tell. But this is my favorite of the um, of the Casey Kane racing cars. I just think the Napa 49 looks really good. It's a good-looking car. You got sweet across front uh, front wing there. But um, that is definitely my favorite. Obviously, I have my bias, too. Here we go. Next one we're going to do, this is actually Alex Bowman's uh, sprint car, the Alex Bowman Racing, number 55, CJ Leary. You can see we got Valvoline up there, number 55, but um, same thing on this one as the other one where it's got the um, the same side here, same mo uh, engine cover, or motor cover there. Um, front wing looks to be about the same. No pieces and parts up here um, as well, so that's all looking pretty normal. Uh, Leary, by the way, in white looks really good on this car. This is a good-looking car, especially if you put it right next to Larson's number 5 Valvoline car. Very nice-looking car okay so that i think is different over here they have this uh this is some some like body work that they put some sponsors on um actually it does look like do they both maybe they all have that let me look quick yeah it looks like they all have that that's not new sorry it's on the left side it's is where it's rare but it is on some of them i think um 
But yeah, overall, I mean, I don't see anything super different. So this one actually might be on the same build as the Casey King cars. However, uh, the chassis bars are gray, so that's kind of cool the way they'll stick through there. But So that's the CJ Leary. Uh, let's go look at something that actually has a different build to it. This is Christopher Bell's planbsales.com. This is a 2019 car. And you can see it's a gloss black. You see the, the Plan B Sales logo. Um, you can see on the left side there. Um, no, no actual stuff on here. I thought there was going to be some, but there is not. Um, but there is no, no cover right here that, uh, accesses the seat. You see it says Sammy Swindell, even though it, uh, was driven by Christopher Bell. You see Bell up there, um, as well. But then the, also the, uh, the cover here is a different build. And I'll, I'll pull, uh, I'll actually pull one off here so you can take a look at the different shape of what we've got here. So, there we go. So there's your two different shapes. I think there's only the two shapes. Um, so there's two options for the engine cover. You can see kind of how they look. One goes up, one is kind of a rounded over, and one of them kind of goes in and then up and then over again. So you can see how that one is shaped, and then we'll see how that one is shaped very, very differently. So, yeah, that's actually kind of a e uh, very interesting part about these is that they are not all the same. They're not a uniform or spec die cast. They are, there's little hints and differences to them uh, that make them pretty cool. So also that was another part that was different there um, was not having that little, um, I, I don't want to call it a door, but it, it literally is what would be a door if it opened. So it's just a little piece of bodywork that kind of covers that left side. Um, next one we're going to take a look at kyle larson sprint car this one actually has i was wrong this one has the third variant for the engine cover this one has um so let me show you this one this is even another fun one so there's the shape of this one just in case you were thinking that looked similar to uh the cj leary one there you can see what the shape is so you can see what the difference in the um the cover is and yeah that is definitely a totally different shape and that is completely unique so kind of cool um I don't know. It's it's new. It's not something I've seen a lot of before because some of the older ones had some different changes too, but never uh, where I've seen this many of them so close together. All right, let's get that put on there. There we go. Um, but yeah, overall, the 57, uh, this one's already sold out pretty much everywhere, including on my side. I don't have any of these left uh, in any scale or shape or size, nothing. These are toast. And you can see all white out on the right side, which, I mean, I know a lot of people think it looks pretty bland. I, I get it. I can see where it would look a little bland, but I will say it does look pretty dang good. Like just a clean white car. And when you win, it looks good too. Winning cars look good, no matter what their paint scheme is. When you win a bunch, you look good. All right. So let's move on to a uh, Corey license car. This is actually a pretty cool car as well. Main draw of this car that I thought would just look stuck out like a sore thumb was the white chassis rails. You can see the chassis bars here. Uh, bright and like gloss white and there's some black bars here along the side but these bars are all white along the chassis which is just neat um now this one has a little different style. You can see this one has a little bit more coverage on the left side, but still has an open gap here to get into the seat. So that's that's the Larson car. Let's show you the, the Larson car quick. So there's the Larson. You can see this is open right here. That's an open spot. Um, the Bell car was also open in that spot. So that is something that is, you know, uh, I should say common because you can see um, the Casey Kane cars didn't have that. So this one has kind of a gap here where if I pull up the Brad Sweet car, you can see it's completely covered and there is no gap. Um, so yeah, definitely a, another one of those differences. Definitely don't want to pick them up by the wing, by the way. I just did that to slide it forward, but uh, you will break the halo if you handle it like that. So, uh, but yeah, there is a gap there. So definitely something cool, but otherwise just really clean. Not a lot of sponsors on here, Eliason and big letters there, but um, just a sharp colored looking car. So very, very good color to this car. Just a nice gloss blue. You can see just, I don't know, a lot of, a lot of empty space in there. I'm not sure if it's a good thing, but I don't mind it. I think it looks good. All right, so let's slide Corey Lyson's car off to the side and get on to our next one. This is going to be the 10 time, I think he's a 10 time outlaw champion. I have, could be wrong. The 10 time outlaw champion, this one is uh, the Tony Stewart car for Donnie Schatz. Now this car, um, you can see same uh, as Corey Lyson on that one, as far as uh, the gap here, how it sits for that. Uh, let's see, engine cover looks the same. So it looks like this one has the same build as Corey Lyson. Um, Christopher Bell also has, the it's the same hood style as Christopher Bell and the same uh, kind of cockpit style as Corey Lyson. Um, 
there could be other differences. I just haven't noticed them yet uh, in terms of the engine or some of the other details like that. Uh, I will say the rims are a different color. A lot of them are, have been black so far. I don't think I've seen any chrome rims. So this one's like got a silverish chrome to it. So uh, Donnie Shots, I think, is one of the only ones. Maybe there was one more that had it, but most of them were not uh, not silver. They were they were all blacked out rims, but definitely a cool looking car. I think I only have one Donnie Shots left. So if you are looking, uh, all these cars, by the way, Every car up here except for the Kyle Larson is still available at RASDieCast.com, including the Chase Elliott late model, so you can check them out. I'll link all of them in the description. It's going to take me a little bit, but, you know, I got time. So uh, the next one here, this is going to be David Gravel's number 02. Um, so this one actually has the same hood style as Christopher Bell, and uh, it's probably the most common hood style. Um, the Casey Kane Racing Cars and CJ Larry has one style. Um, then you have Bell, Gravel, uh, Shots, and then the two Shark Racing cars and um, Eliason all have this hood style. Or, sorry, I say hood, but it's engine cover. Same engine cover style there. Uh, but we got the Houston Speedway there. Um, really good looking car, actually. And guess what? They're going to make another one this year. So if you haven't already, get your pre-orders in because uh, the gravel car looks really good this year. It's got some white on it. Um, and the number moved to the front of the wings. So, uh, but yeah, you can see the main thing. The main thing I like about this one is the orange back, the tail tank, and it's kind of all orange out the back. And then the two uh, Houston Speedway logos, Jackson Motorplex up here on the front wing. Uh, you can see this one does have a little silver on the inside of the front rim, but the back rim is black. So just a little on the front rim, uh, but the back one is black. As I said, the other ones are all black in everything. So j the shots has silver on the front and back. This one has just silver centers in the front. So if you thought that was the same as shots, let me show you quick just to make sure i'm pointing it out uh, i want to make sure i'm not uh you know leading you all astray and not giving you accurate info uh but here you can see oop, there we go uh silver rim black center these have a black uh or a black outer rim with a silver center so definitely a little different on the david gravel one still a good looking one all right now we're gonna move on to my um, last two of them here. This is the Dry D number 1A of Jacob Allen. He's been running a throwback for the early part of this year. I don't know if he's gonna run it all year. Um, but you can see we've got the diamond plate on the Dry Dean racing formulas there. Silver rim in the back and a silver rim up front with the black center. It's very similar to the Donnie shots. Uh, cab style is similar to the Bell and Larson where it doesn't have that, um, that body piece here. So it's open like the other two, but it doesn't, there's extra body like work or body panel i don't know what you it's, it's all one solid piece but it's different body work that goes here um that again matches bell and larson engine cover will match the bell and is the most common as far as which style they use and then allen in there in uh it's light letters on a dark bar across that front looks really good the car actually looks really nice you see the Dryden logos the drf there it just looks really sharp up front you go to the side you got the diamond plate behind Dryden. these these shark cars are sharp they look really really good um i want to say i don't do i have one left i may only have one of each of these left that could be wrong so don't quote me on that but um yeah these are uh these are pretty cool these are um the the way that they have the two teammates the reason i say two teammates is we're gonna grab the logan shuhart car so there's logan shuhart's car these are actually from 2020 i believe instead of 2021 um and uh thank goodness because logan shuhart was better in 2020 than he was in 2021 he's had a bad couple seasons going on here um but you can see we've got the diamond plate behind dry dean again uh you can see this one has the same style on the side as the casey kane racing cars and the cj leary so you can see the driver is kind of completely encased very you know nice body work that goes around there so um yeah not even the shark racing cars have the same body work now they do have the same uh covers up front as far as the engine covers um i don't know that there's any differences in front wings um or top wings if i'm wrong on that someone can correct me if you know better than than anything i know i'm just going by what i can see so um but yeah so we do have that shoehart and big letters across the front um but overall the shoehart car is a really sharp looking car the diamond plate really does look good and then even just the red and white it's a very sharp looking car even from the front side where you have these bright red wings um with the white mixed in so very very sharp on the shoe heart car um it's probably one of one of my favorites that i can say objectively because the rest of them i like based on their driver you know i like the casey kane racing cars all first because i'm incredibly biased and i don't care i will say it um but you know the bell car looks good that gloss black looks good the the all white car for larson looks good like the only one that i'm on like half and half on the paint scheme 
is probably, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's the David Gravel, and it's literally not, they all look really good. That's the thing. I didn't get any ugly cars in. Like, if, if I thought the car was ugly, like, I didn't really think the Sammy Swindells looked that good, the white ones. I just didn't get it. So, um, but yeah, the, the silver shots, I just, I don't know. The CarQuest colors are weird. They don't, they don't bend, mend together well, in my opinion. So, um, but it's still a sharp looking car. Um, I just think the, the, the yellow car he's running this year looks better personally. So, um, but yeah, overall, I really like a lot of these cars. They look great. The detail quality is fantastic. Really enjoy it. Um, for anyone that isn't sure or had any issues with the wings, let me know. I have fixed a couple of them. Um, Actually, I want to say it was uh, the shots one. This one's not actually the one that's on the site. I have this one I had to do a lot of repairs to. So um, I did repair it. I'm pretty happy with it. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot me a message or a uh, comment below. I can try to help talk you through any repairs you might have to make if, if something's gone wrong on your car. Um, but other than that, uh, check the description for any of these you might be interested in. They are still available at rasdiecast.com. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a good week. Um, we will be getting ready for Dover this next week, so we'll have a bunch of new cars coming. So stay tuned for all that. But otherwise, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.